We played our first show in February 2017 in a very small, very dark club space in Liverpool. And five years later, here we are at the South Bank Centre. From the beginning, really, all of our work has been about removing the barriers that so easily come between a group of performers or a group of artists and an audience, especially in the classical world, we're rubbish at this. The kind of rituals and the costumes and the lights and the, you know, this kind of separation between the stage and, and, and the kind of stalls, making an experience that historically has often felt formal and structured to remake that so it feels like messy and personal. The artistic planning is very much a dialogue between us both. If we don't quite agree with some pieces that the other person has suggested, we'll look further and we'll probably get to a richer place having had that slight bit of conflict. We really take time to build the programmes. Sometimes they come just like that and others we work harder at finding the right thing. The set list is is extremely varied. The players are really changing their hats all the time. It's a real challenge for everyone in the, in the sort of rehearsal and development process because you're jumping between styles, you're using really different musical techniques all the time. We've always been really inspired to work with artists who come from very different artistic worlds. Often our collaborators come from very different musical worlds. We've often found it really stimulating to work with artists who are at the top of their game but don't necessarily come from a classical tradition. Collaboration is, it's not always easy and it's in those moments that you develop and you find a different way of communicating or a different way of thinking. When we commission composers that in, in essence is a collaboration. In terms of how we choose the collaborators, I think it's just done from instinct really, but it's the people who we, we have um, a kind of guttural reaction to their art form. It's very much based on feeling and instinct and then the hard work starts when you have to actually get together. From the beginning, in our very early seasons, we were already playing this sort of strange split of venues where about half the shows were in big concert halls and half were in really alternative spaces, warehouse spaces, club spaces, factory spaces. You know, we played a lot of mills in the Northwest. I think that's something that has really informed the way that the players give these performances. Even when we're in the very large venues, we're always trying to create that sense of intimacy and closeness that you get when you're sort of squashed into a sort of a rock and roll venue. All of these rules that we have about even what we wear and um, even the fact we sit in rows sometimes, all of that stuff doesn't matter because the essence is about how you communicate through what you're doing. And Adam thinks very carefully about how he designs the space that we play in. We can feel as comfortable as possible just to be ourselves. We're now three shows into this residency at the South Bank. It's been so much fun for the players and, and for our team to be working here. What I think is really special about both of these venues, the QEH and the Purcell Room, is that the audience kind of melts into what's happening on stage. The stages aren't so high off the ground, QEH especially. You can sort of step off the stage and you're in the stalls. That feeling that the audience experience bleeds through onto the stage and rather than a group of musicians facing a crowd and then a crowd facing a group of musicians. There's a sense that we're sort of all in a circle. It's been quite a diverse crowd, which is great. Very different to maybe what you might expect to see at a, at a sort of classical concert or a symphony concert. That sense that, you know, everyone is welcome in this building. We've always really been attracted to that. The fact that you go next door and, you know, in the foyer spaces there are like poetry groups and break dancers and mums groups and the skaters downstairs. and. I think that's really what culture is all about, I suppose, this sort of melting pot. Mm -hmm.